I am, however, a bi big fan of uh, Shroud. I think that will fit very well with the characteris characteristics of the hero. I think having the sneak up ability and being able to just pop out and deal tons of damage fast will be very important. So I definitely think uh, Shroud is going to be a pickup on this hero. And Nullfire is obviously also very good considering the skill set that you have. So from what I've understood, um, definitely feel like... Um, uh, maxing out Rush is uh, the best, and getting Shroud and Nullfire is definitely on, on the box. Now the thing about the hero that's bad is that you don't actually have a farming mechanism, so it's all about farming heroes with this hero, which is why I think Shroud will be very, very good. So you get an early Shroud, same way as Puppet, and then you just farm heroes. The difference is that Puppet Master can obviously, you know, kill heroes. Uh, sorry, kill creeps, and Adrenaline can't. But yeah, so that's w whatever information I have gotten so far from the 15 minutes I've played, so that's my uh, deductive research skills. I wonder if I get tower aggro for blinking into him. I want to try that out. But yeah, uh, 26 months, thank you very much, Titus. I appreciate that a lot, man. Thank you very much. Well, people need to realize Doctor is nerfed to Metagay before they stop picking him. The, the Doctor bug was fixed um, today, so no more Doctor bugs. But uh, people are still going to pick it every game until they realize, oh, the hero isn't OP anymore. Maybe I should stop picking it, because I'm losing my team every game. And Nissa Man Free, thank you for seven. Appreciate that a lot, dude. Thank, thank you very know. much. But yeah, so this is my first real game with Adrenaline. We had 15 minutes, like I said. And now it's time to try out uh, in a real game. But yeah, so obviously this is not a bottle hero. You have tons and tons of mana region. Uh, we'll go through the abilities a little bit later. So he doesn't do much damage here. With level 1 rush, level 2 rush, sorry, you need a lot more stacks. Which will ultimately Scam be getting. Him and rout him. But yeah, so the way the hero works is you build up stacks with auto attacks and abilities. And then you use rush to rush on top of them. And uh, deal a lot of damage. True damage for that matter, so a lot of damage. Um, yeah, so here's the thing though. It's gonna be, it's very hard to catch that Q because if you go too close to Pebbles, he will obviously kill you. So I can't like go get that. Hey, he's hiding now from the stacks. Yeah, the stacks don't last very long, so If I got Rush off there, it was probably dead. 20 charges times how much damage? Yeah, he was dead. Fuck me, dude. I can actually still kill him, I think. Oh, there's someone hiding behind him. No, I can't. Damn it. I still want to try, though, just to see, like, the damage. But, yeah. So, yeah, right now I'm just harassing, as you can see. Trying to keep up the stacks in order to get a rush off, but I won't be able to. So yeah, there is an example of like stacking up stacks, but I wasn't able to actually use my W there. But I'll tr tr keep trying to do that. Definitely want to get the um, uh, the strength thing here to stay alive. Magnus still fucking sitting mid, man. Ah, shit. Oh, crap. Oh, nice last inning. Ham, uh, ham, ham, Thank you very much for subbing as well. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate that, man. You talking about the hero mana wise, no cooldowns. Yeah, I'll explain that in a second. Give me, a, give me a second. Uh, Pebbles, miss. Okay, there we go. He's back. Yeah, he's just saving the rune for his friend here. Definitely need to pick up those team boots ASAP so Pebbles doesn't kill me. Um, yeah, I will explain the abilities more more in depth soon. I can kill that guy straight away. I'm just afraid of wait. Uh, it might have been. Uh, yeah, I'm just afraid of the fucking mag, man. There we go. 
Okay, so for those of you who did not understand what I did there, basically I tried to just build up the stacks all over the t all over the place, as you saw that I did. And then I used my ultimate that basically stuns them for 2.5 seconds, seconds and lowers their vision. And then I'd use my W to blow up all the charges again. So, I'm gonna explain uh, exactly how the hero works now. So first of all, we got our Q. So you target the direction to throw a projectile. Very slow, as you guys saw. Very, very slow. And if you catch it, you regain 35% of your mana. Uh, and if the projectile hits the ground, it will spawn a fracture that will add more uh, stacks on top of it. Um, so that's your Q. And your W is Rush. You target the direction to dash 450 units, dealing 20 true damage to enemy units you pass through, and consumes all dread stacks on them, dealing an additional 1% of the enemy units max health per dread stack consumed. So it basically works on their max health, which is, of course, is a is great late game. So yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage to Q, but like if you keep spamming it, you know, like ultimately it will do a lot of damage. I'm gonna show you here now. You see right there? It does quite a bit of damage. I'm gonna kill him here, by the way, if he walks up with ulti. Yeah, we are. Alright. Uh, so yeah, that's your W. It consumes all the dread charges that you have. And then, finally, the reason I have insane uh, mana region is my E. So, my E uh, basically um, passively grants me mana region, which is like 5.5% per second right now, which is a big fucking deal. And every time you kill on a hero, you regain 40% of your ma max mana at level 2. So 100% at the max, like at the end. Which is of course crazy, because that means that when you kill a hero, you'll have full mana and you can just keep going again, right? So that's of course uh, really cool. And then finally, we have the target an enemy hero to stun and reduce their vision to 400 radius for 2.5 seconds. And it applies 10 dread stacks, 20 and 30 in the later levels, and creates fractures around the targets, which deals 10% of your base damage. So uh, the reason I knew I could kill him both of these times, even though I just started playing the hero, is because it's very simple math. You just count the amount of dread stacks they have on top of them, and then you rush on top of them, and then you kill them. It's really fucking simple, to be honest. So this guy is dead as well, for example. Uh, so yeah, you just count count the stacks he got. Uh, but yeah, the, the thing is here, as you can see, uh, every time I hit him uh, with my illusion or myself, I add another stack. But if I don't catch the projectile, I don't regain the mana that I want. Um, so yeah. Anyway, at level 1 of Q, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does 200 ultimately, which of course is great. But if you don't catch the projectile, you can't spam it anyway, because everything is based off your max mana. So it doesn't matter if you have 5,000 mana or 50 mana. You're still gonna... Uh, pause, please. Uh, uh, one minute. Pop. Uh, so, like, it doesn't matter if you have 5,000 mana or 800 mana. It's gonna be the same thing, because it's, you know, max mana. Sorry, I had to answer that. Okay, bye bye. Is stream quality lower than usual? Uh, let me check. Okay, uh, bye bye. Yeah. 20, no, 1080, 1920, 1980, 60 FPS. Uh, yeah, no, everything's good. Uh, but yeah. So it isn't good to buy man items? Uh, no, it's not, not, not going to make a difference with man items at all. So my items are completely pointless. That's why you go uh, ganking items like I'm doing now. Like I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try shroud first this game. I tried the. Uh, um, I tried the uh, Q before. I'm uh, sorry, uh, no fire before first. But I feel like this hero doesn't like this hero is incredibly squishy. Like it dies so so easily, and the shroud will not only allow you to gank all the time, it will also give you a tiny bit of survivability, which is why I think going shroud first is better at the moment. I definitely think the hero should be lane mid. By the way, I don't think it should be played as a carry. I mean, I, you can, but I just feel like playing it mid so he can be roaming and active. I feel like that's just better at the moment. So yeah. I mean, technically, you could go Blood Shells if you want to, to just have like an extra spell, but I just don't see the point of it. 
The only thing, like I said, that I'm annoyed about is that you don't have a farming mechanism. But not every hero does need a farming mechanism, but you know. So yeah, you, you like I said, you need to farm heroes. If you don't farm heroes, the hero's gonna suck. I went Helm, felt pretty good. Helm of Black Legion? Actually makes a little bit of sense. You tank up, you're very squishy, without tanking up, obviously. And it will give you a little bit more survivability, and technically you already have a lot of damage from your abilities. So it actually makes a little bit of sense. Yeah, go, go. Oh, cup and cup. So yeah, um, but yeah, oh, illusions. Uh, give me illusion, please. Cup and cup. No, uh, give me. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Synergizes with my stack, so. What up? Hmm? I like? <laughs> Uh, you didn't find free energy enough to kill a 600 pim carry? I don't know, I haven't gotten that far, obviously. You have one shot! <laughs> Fuck! You keep missing my cues, son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, we're 6 here right now, so obviously doing pretty good. 450 GPM. I won't reach him, fuck that. Not even gonna bother. Is he baiting? Pretty elaborate bait if it was. I don't know, thank you. Ah, scout's bottom, shit. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, I might have just greeted a little bit, boys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was pretty stupid. He had full charges. I could have killed him right there. <laughs> but yeah, that was, that was pretty stupid. Uh, yeah, since you deal percent of sh uh, damage and the fact that you're squishy, Shroud is good too. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I think Shroud is very good. I, f I definitely think you should go Shroud first no matter what, because it allows you to solo kill anyone, I think. But yeah, no, Helm makes a tiny bit of, like, tiny bit of sense. I, c I can see that being viable. Uh, but r right now, this ultimate seems a little bit too strong in my opinion. It seems a tiny bit too strong. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm. Not, I think like the stun is a little bit too long, and no one's gonna survive that shit, man. Are they stunned for 2.5 seconds, or just their vision reduced? Does anyone know? Like, are they actually stunned for the full duration as well? Go. 30 percent, 45 percent. Oh. You have one shot. Oh. Alright, stuff. I'm trying to understand, like, maybe it is better to just max E instead of Q. Because I mean if I max E, right, I get way more passive mana region than I can maybe use my uh, can maybe use my Q, uh, W again. Because the thing is, like, you know, I need to rush into them to regain my mana, right? And do the damage. And I feel like you're, you're not always able to do that. You need to, like, blink twice. And with the mana pool you have, you can't really do that. So I'm not sure. Maybe, I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like it might be better to get E over Q. Or maybe I'll get, like, two points in Q and then go E. I'm not sure. So basically, all I need to do is, is hit them with the Q three times, and then they're almost full stacked. Alright, uh, seven second ulti. Alright, let's go. Alright, so let, let me see if we can kill like a huge hero from full HP with just ultimate. I want to see if that's possible. Well, Magnus is not a huge hero. Alright, 
See what I mean? Like right there, I have to like blink after, and then then I die, right? So I, like it's really, I kind of feel like I don't know. Yeah, no, like it, it's really really bad actually. I I have to like be really close, then leap, and then keep queuing after because it's like you, you will never be able to use two rushes in a row to catch up with someone. I just, that's what I wanted to try right there. I didn't ulti because I wanted to see if I can just like blink after him with the father silence, and it didn't work at all. So basically, you have to either ulti for a kill, or you have to um, like be on top of them, leap on them, and then keep going. So yeah, interesting. The hero does way too much damage with the ultimate, from what I've noticed so far. It feels like it anyway. I'm not sure, um, but yeah. So I don't know. I also like. Considering you can't use your W to chase after, I don't know, maybe PK or or Tablet will be viable. So yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to think, like, because you will never ever be able to, like, double rush and to catch someone up. So I don't know, maybe PK or Tablet. Or I simply just have to use my ulti for kills, which is fine too, but since the doesn't have a farming mechanism, it's very awkward to farm in between your ultimate cooldown. Anyway, they're all missing right now, this is retarded, shouldn't go here. Beware. Farm so slow, man. Yeah, we're below 400 PM now because we died twice for no reason, really. Just tried out some stuff. Yeah, man, Victor, thank for four months and all the months before that, dude. Appreciate it a lot. Man, it's the slowest farmer in the fucking game. Wonder if Energizer works in your illusions? Uh, Energizer is like the worst item in the game, though. You have one shot! Well, that worked out. Well, I did hit him. Uh, right. Two good kills in a row. Nine and two now. But yeah, we tried out enough stuff. So yeah, I'm trying, but I still feel like tablet or PK. Will be a pretty good item. But one second, guys, I just gotta check the fridge if we have any eggs. <laughs> Give me one second. Alright, uh, okay, so, uh, okay, so yeah, anyway, no fire is still amazing, I think, I think we're, like, really far ahead this game, so I feel like we can still just greet and go no fire here straight away, but in a, in a lesser good game, uh, I feel like we might want to do the tablet or PK, but, like, tablet takes, what, 50 mana, so if I have a 280 mana pool, that leaves me with 240 mana, that mean yeah, that means I can rush twice, yeah, that's fine, okay. Did you have eggs? Only two. <laughs> hey, go. Go fight, block, block. I'm just gonna fucking ult him and kill him. But yeah, as you can see, it kind of feels like you can kill any hero in the game right now with just your ultimate. Because the, the, your abilities scale on base damage, right? So your illusions does 10% of your base damage. So the higher, like, you know, if you have Wingbow, you have Nullfire and stuff like that. Holy shit, man, you're gonna kill someone really fast. So I feel like with every ulti, you're gonna get a kill with this hero right now. Without the ulti, you can still kill people, but like I said, unless you're on top of them, it's gonna be quite hard. This is still an informative game, though. Um, learning a lot about the hero in this game. I'm gonna try the tablet slash PK build uh, next game. Oh, fuck. That was a little bit greedy. We got two anyway. 
Yeah, so checking out. Uh, but yeah, no. So we'll we'll try the uh, a tablet or a PK next game. What if we rush a PK and play him like a Pebbles? Well, it's not really possible though, because Pebbles obviously has less cooldowns. I'm trying to think, like, if we like, if we rush Steam Boots PK, uh, we'll we'll try that next game. We'll try that next time, next game. Uh, why is Nullfire amazing? Um, I will show you if we manage to finish it before they concede. Mm -mm -mm. If played short, I think Ockbones is pretty good. Yeah, I think you can do Ockbones for sure. Considering the hero doesn't have a farming mechanism, Ockbones will definitely help you out with farming. So if you do, for some reason, play the hero as a carry, which I think is incorrect, then I definitely think an Ockbones would be uh, a, a good thing, for sure. And I'm not a fan of Ockbones in general, like buying it every game like the Thai people are, so... I definitely agree with that. Uh, yes. Shy. Alright, so we're level 13, we're 440 GPM. Died twice this game for no reason, like I said, but we, we were just trying shit out, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah. So you're region 20% right now for uh, creeps. I really wish Q worked on creeps, man. Fuck. Alright. Yes, we got that now to try out. Holy. Huh? No, it's not locked because I. She just left. Complaining, man. Complaining. <laughs> you can use rush once and then you can use ulti straight after. So that's a good thing to know, though. You can always rush to someone and then use the ulti straight after. Uh, I'm playing a new hero. Yeah, trying out the new hero. Oh, fuck me. Hey, help me! Martyr! You got me three eggs. Martyr! Help me! Hey! There's no ulti. Why did you get me three eggs? Why did you buy me three eggs? How did you even know I needed eggs? How did you even know I needed eggs? Wow. <sighs> yeah, no. If, the, if I, I, I agree though. If if Q worked on creeps, it would be fucking broken, man. Like you would farm so incredibly fast. It's crazy. Definitely, I definitely agree with that. Like, imagine, like you regain what twenty five percent for non hero creeps, right? Uh, for for non hero units of creeps. Imagine just spamming Q and then just killing the creeps and full mana, full mana, spamming Q, full mana, full mana, spamming Q, full mana, full mana. And yeah, that, that no, that's that's way too OP. I'm just saying that, you know, I, I wish it worked. Why is he still muted, by the way? That's not supposed to be it. On the early game. Hmm? What? Alai? You wanna go bot? Uh, come top. They're definitely going shrunk in here, by the way. Considering their heroes. Mm -hmm. Hey! Come top! My entire team is bottom and I'm top. Great. Okay, I come. Wait me! Pop! Pop pop! Roll pop! Roll with me. Oh shit, it's spawned with Hey! Roll pop! Is that how I say it? Roll pop? Roll pop? Hey! Wait me! Damn it. Look at that, dude. That's why Nullfire is getting this here. 
Man, I was hoping for a bigger team fight to finish things off. I hope they don't concede. Fucking Defiler killed them all. Yeah, what the fuck? Wait me, or pop! Alright, so that's the first game of uh, Adrenaline. We died a couple times to try things out. Shit happens, so... Uh, once again, if you kill a hero, you get 100% of your max mana left. Like, uh, like uh, back. So when I killed Scout right there, you get full mana, boom, straight away. Uh, and that's why it's like important to try and get kills in, in middle of team fights, and you can just keep spamming your abilities. Never got my Q off there because I had to use W and ulti to reach the scout. Anyway, uh, that was game number one of Let's Play Adrenaline. I will be back soon for game number two. We'll try out another mid Adrenaline and play with PK or Tablet, and then the third game we'll play him as a carry. So game number two coming up shortly. Uh, for YouTube here, so just try and for YouTube, and there will pop up two things above my head right now. No, but somewhere on the monitor showing the previous ga game and the next game. Peace out, and well, subscribe to my channel as well. <laughs> bye bye. Gonna make some coffee as well.